managed to wake up early. We were the first one to go out of the albergue. For the first time. Ah, that's the way probably, right? Baby. You take the picture out of it. This is the journey of the pictures, morning pictures. But anyway, it's a good news we woke up in the morning, but what bad news is that the coffee machine in our alberge isn't working. <coughs> so, long story short, we have no coffee, we don't know <laughs> what to do. <laughs> Two hours? Minimum. No. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. it's a long day today. The speed we go, it's at least two hours to the first coffee. Okay, first sign here on the sign. Let's yeah. mark the first sign and let's start to walk with no words because that's the first sign. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. Two hours! Why? And we started the slow stroll through the hills of Leon. Nothing seemed fine that day. Even the pictures that we've tried to take seemed simply pale and boring. And when we thought that the morning could not get any worse, we suddenly saw this. What is the massive dog that looks like a bear? The Spanish Mastiff is a large, powerful livestock guardian breed in Spain. They have thick, dense coats in various colors and the massive head with low skin around the neck, known for protecting sheep from predators like wolves. Males can weigh up, up to 220 pounds, which is 100 kilos, and stand really high. And you know what? The Spanish Mastiff often has a double dew claw on the hind legs, which helps them in stability and attraction when they raise up to fines against wolves. And they live around the livestock, especially in that part of Spain. And we didn't know that before. Three things not to do when spotted by a stray dog. Do not run away. This could make a dog chase you and is the last thing that you would like to. The dogs normally can run much faster than us, much faster than us. Do not stare directly at the dog. Direct eye contact might be seen as threat, and that could be the last thing you have seen in your life. And do not approach or corner the dog. The dogs normally attack when they feel threatened. So if you try to get closer, maybe even aggressively use the sticks, you might unnecessarily make them react aggressively. So yeah, we survived. But what actually happened, the dog ran towards us and there were three and they sniffed and looked at us and assessed the situation and we backed up with the poles and they simply let us pass. I think it was the biggest miracle, a surprising miracle that we had in the Camino so far. And since that moment, our journey kind of changed. We thought we were ready for facing the wild, but now we kind of understood that wild is something more than just unknown and unbooked albergues or untrodden routes. Maybe wild means like coming out of the comfort zone and maybe wild means just facing your fears face to face. So we're moving forward. We're moving forward towards La Robla, which maybe, but only maybe we can find a coffee and something to eat. And if you want to get the GPS track and the map that we use on that Camino, sign to our newsletter and get it straight to your inbox. You can find the link in the description below. First coffee shop closed. 
Let's try the next one. It's 10.13. We've been walking without coffee for three hours. No way. See way. <laughs> My way. <laughs> Your way. My way. I think the dog woke me up pretty well, but coffee is always coffee. Excellent. Ci sediamo? Our first coffee, 10.30. 10.30? No, actually 11. 11. First coffee. Cheers. I almost finished anyway. I'm not gonna have another one. And I also got flip-flops. I have two flip-flops. And I have my flip-flops back. Oh. Yeah, we go to La Robla. <laughs> you got your flip-flops back. We are in La Robla, the first big village. There is a, even a train here. Yes. Yeah. Train station. Train station, yeah. So here you can get flip-flops. There are many Chinese shops if you need to buy something, pharmacies bars, restaurants, supermarket, you can get everything. Because there are there is chance of rain. At, the forecast says at two, three o'clock. So we really don't know. We didn't book a place yet. Mm. Maybe the next village, the bigger village. The Pola de Gordon. Pola de Gordon. Yeah. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place where we grew up. This old town, just put it all behind. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids, so we could see. Are you filming me? Yeah. Hello, mom. Hello everyone. Nice to meet you. You have to bow deeper. Ah, from Camino Tellers to the world. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. River's gonna cry when you go. Shall we eat some more? Ah, I think it would be a good idea. Yeah. Here. Here, here on this. The chairs. On this. Here, maybe more in the shade. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So hungry. This is the same empanada that we eat for the past two days. Last day today. Maybe. Pola de Gordon! La Pola de Gordon! <laughs> Are you gonna take? I don't know. I'm gonna have the garlic soup with poached eggs. Yay. 
check them in. I think I'm gonna have huevos rotos con jamón. What does that mean? You don't wanna know. <laughs> Broken eggs. Broken eggs or ham. Taste a lot of garlic. <laughs> garlic, there is bread, bread inside the soup. Can you see it? No. And the pole stag, and a lot of olive oil. What's in your plate? French fries. Good ham and sunny side eggs, like me. Super. Gracias por venir. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try to open it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, and everything is getting wet. What do you say? Nah, details. Look at that. Well, look at see what's going on on the floor. Mm -hmm. In the floor of our room? <laughs> look at that. Yeah. yeah, I cannot see anything now. And then when you are inside. Oh, when you are inside. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm all wet already. See, I'm okay. Close it, close it, close it, close it. 705. And it's raining. Our intention was good. We wanted to wake up at 6 o'clock. It didn't work. Hmm. Anyways. You see this? This is rain. Like a lot. And this is what we have. <laughs> so we, with the with a lot of rain, we, would it be dangerous to go up the mountain? Because it's not mountain, gradual mountain. It's vertical from there. But also here, is it close today? If we want to stay here. So we had a really difficult decision to make. Should we stay? Should we go? Because it didn't look like the rain wanted to stop. But the first, we thought that maybe a coffee would be a good idea. And just being, feeling like a local. We decided to stay, at least for a day or two. We took a bus to one of the surrounding villages, which was an abandoned coal mine. And at the same time, was a part of a different Camino called Camino Olvidado. So we thought we might just have a look.
another day on Camino San Salvador. Um, we don't know where we are now. We don't know where we are. In the middle of a little village called... Siniera. Sinieras. Sinieras. No. We just ended up here. So the story goes, we woke up this morning, we looked out at the window and we saw this. So we decided to stay here actually to get the best views in the next two days and actually walked in, in a bit of a more safe environment. Safe environment where, yeah. yeah. So we stayed here and we decided to see what's going on around. ¿Qué pasa, guapísimo? Tiene un año y medio. Sí, se nota que es joven. Pero como le digas algo, se te queda ahí. Ahí sí se queda sí, embobado. Pues de parte que no se tumbaba para que le arrancara la barriga. Ay, 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 ahí se queda. Que ni le cruciaba la gente se <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. Thank you for subscribing!